Uh, on a Sunday, normally I don't quarrel with my wife. So I just came out here. <laughs> okay, guys. It's only when we stand up, people will notice us, right? Yes. It's only when you stand up. And the saying goes, stand up to be counted. But usually I tell them, I, I'm sometimes, you know, when I was in corporate life, my, my passion was blood donation. And they used to call me the local Pontiana. <laughs> and I'll go around the factory, I'll get people to donate blood, and I put a big caption, lie down and be counted. <laughs> <laughs> and we got it. But in this time here, in this time, especially this time, we are not going to sit down, we're not going to lie down, we're going to stand up and we're going to walk. We are so determined to make sure that the ISA is abolished. We've got to keep at it. Now, I'm not worried about uh, how many people are in front of me here. I'm happy because there are more newcomers. People must take off. But of course, they are hardcore like Vita, uh, Duke, uh, these little uh, incognito guys, always with a different mask. <laughs> Special brand, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back. Hey, hold up, back. Put it on YouTube. Special brand, PR, Okay. Shukri, right? Yeah. You're coming with us to Coach KT. Okay. Uh, I have a... We don't want to be talking all the time. But before I go off, let's continue our course, right? The full... Abolition of the ISA. I like to call out a few people to speak today, and my first guest is Pat Lu. Pat, come. Oh gosh. Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Uh, when it surprised me. Okay. Well, today, as usual, another video. And today, I want to address one particular concern that concerns all Malaysians. I read on Duke's blog and on Malaysia Today, today, the concerns of having children at Virgil's. And I'd like to address this tonight. Number one, we have to correct the misperception that this is an anti-ISA Virgil. Yeah. Okay. It is it is still an anti-ISA Virgil, but at the same time we are also addressing lots more concerns that concerns all Malaysians from all walks of life, whatever that happens in this country or to our government happens to us. Number two, as Richard said, this is now a free speech square. And it is legal. We need to get this message across nationwide to people in PJ, everywhere else who like to join us here every, every Sunday, that we have the police permit. That it is okay to come and participate without any fear. That aside, why children, I would myself encourage children to participate in Virgil's. Last week, I brought my mom and my son. <laughs> Three generations in one family attending the same Virgil. How did I do that? First, I went and bought them dinner. <laughs> <laughs> then, during dinner, I mean, of course, throughout the whole week, and for many weeks, I've been talking about, about what's happening and what I'm doing and blah, 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 blah. And they were always fearful. But last Sunday, I decided to try something else because they, 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 ju they just refused to come, okay? So I thought I'd buy them dinner and tell them, oh, I'm going to go for a virtual after school. Like you join me? No, 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 no. I'm scared. Uh, after school, police lah. After that, you know, get, 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 get caught lah. What have you? So I waited and waited till dinner is over. And I know the virtual is going to start in 10 minutes and they know it's going to start at 8 p.m. And, I've got, and I told them, 
Uh, I'm sorry, I've got friends waiting for me. Either you join me at the virtual for only one and a half hours, or you take a cab home. <laughs> That's how my mom and my son ended up at the virtual last week. Okay, and after that, they are now at least more at ease that they've seen it for themselves because my mom, she's aged, she's not on the net. But because she has been here, when I told her that I'm, I'm coming for the Virgil, go la, go la. Okay, go la. Okay? Okay, now I address how in the world did I get involved in so called politics? As a child, my dad used to take me for open houses every year under Barasa National. Okay? On top of that, because he was the political secretary, Kutun Tan Siu said, he has to go up and down the country practically all the time in office. And the times he's not outstation, he's at home, but he will have his political meetings at home, bringing all the kaki to, to our home after dinner or meet at the coffee shops because my mom will complain. Too much noise at home. Okay? Then my mom thought, Okay, then my dad, my, my dad thought, okay, we will have our, our meetings at the coffee shops after dinner. It lasts till the coffee shop or the kopitiams, lights are turned off, then only he comes home. Then what my dad would do is, or rather my mom would do is, now how do we get Papa to come home early? See, then then my, my, my mom would tell us, you all accompany Papa when he goes for his meetings in the coffee shops. So, for whatever reason, right or wrong reason, we were already being aware of politics from young. Okay? And the thing is this, when I came to my teenage years for crying out loud, forget politics. I'm more interested in partying, clubbing, you name it. Right? It's only much later in your life when you, when you realize what's happening to your country and because you'll be there as a child going for these meetings or, or uh, open houses and meeting politicians, you name them, and they talk, 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 talk. Those days, no interest. But later, you know what they've been trying to do. They were trying to build a better country for us. My dad and his friends were trying to build a better Malaysia from then on. Even though, as kids, we had no interest. Now, it is our turn to do that for our children. Okay? And to address the fear, the fear of having children at, at Virgil's, as I mentioned much earlier, there's no fear. This is a legalized gathering, and more importantly, it's called Masra Rakyat. Masra Rakyat means goodwill gathering. A goodwill gathering is similar to an open house. Whether it is Hari Raya, Dipa Valley, whatever you name, on occasions, you only go once, twice, or three times. Okay? But here, we get together every week. I would encourage all of you to bring your children, your teenagers, check them if you have to, at least expose them to this. They will know one day when they grow up like me, hey, my dad or my mom did it for me then, I must do it for my children too. With this, I say thank you and I hope that this version continues and uh, continue the, the, the cause to build a better country together for all Malaysians. Thank you.